Okay, so to start the bare ears, I'm using the eggshell yarn with my 5mm hook or H and I've chained on four chain stitches here. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain stitch by making a slip stitch and that will form a ring. There's the ring. Now we'll be working over this as we work around. So for round one, we'll chain one and we'll be doing eight single crochet stitches into this ring. And working over that yarn tail. So there's one single crochet. There's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And you find the first single crochet stitch you made there, which is right there. And if you're unsure at this point which is your first single crochet, you can count back. So because we did eight single crochet stitches, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the one we want to join into. Now at this point you can pull on that tail and that'll tighten your center. So for round two, we'll chain one. And we're going to do two single crochet stitches into the same space as the chain one here. There's our first single crochet. There's our second single crochet. And we'll do the same for each stitch around. So one single crochet into the next stitch and a second single crochet into that same stitch. And the same for the next stitch. One single crochet into the same stitch, a second single crochet stitch. To the next stitch, one single crochet into the same stitch, a second single crochet.
Now here we have our join from the previous round. There's our chain one there and there's the first single crochet stitch that we made at the start of this round and that's the one we want to join into by making a slip stitch. And at the end of this round you should have 16 stitches. For round 3 we'll start off with a chain 1 and we'll do one single crochet into the same space as the chain 1 there. So if you pull it up you can actually see where you need to do your single crochet in there. Is our first single crochet stitch. And now we're just going to do one single crochet stitch into each stitch around. And because we're not increasing or decreasing, we're just adding one stitch into each stitch around. At the end of this round we'll still have 16 stitches. So you can either count as you go around or count at the end to make sure you have your 16 stitches. You will notice that it'll start to curl in. It's creating a little bare ear. And there you can see the join from the previous round. There's the chain one we made at the start of this round and there's the first single crochet stitch. We're going to join into that one with a slip stitch to finish this round. And you can see that it's curling in now. So now we want to finish off now and we're going to leave a long tail because we need that to sew with. So you get your scissors and cut your yarn so you've got a long tail. And we'll just finish off. Pull that yarn in the center tight and you can get your yarn needle and just thread that through and just to tidy it up a bit and secure it a little more just thread through that first round at the back, at the back of the ear. And that will pull the center tighter 